Hello, in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of the inflation reflex, also referred to as the Herring Brewer reflex. Um, so this reflex is considered to be a protective response that prevents the lungs from being overstretched. Um, so in this reflex, the stimulus is the expanding lungs during inhalation. So uh, the stretch receptors, those are the sensory receptors, they're in the walls of the lungs and they get increasingly activated as the lungs become more and more stretched. They send that sensory feedback via afferent fibers of the vagus nerve, so cranial nerve number 10, um, so that sensory information is carried to the integrating center, which in this case is the medullary respiratory centers, um, where that feedback inhibits the inspiratory center. So when we inhibit the inspiratory center, what that means is that we shut off inspiration, which is inhalation. So it means that we are ending that inhalation. So we're stopping that deep breath that we're taking that caused the lungs to become so stretched. So we inhibit the inspiratory center and that inhibits the phrenic nerve, which is the nerve that controls the diaphragm, which is our primary muscle of respiration. So when the phrenic nerve is activated, it sends a signal to the diaphragm to contract, which causes inhalation. So if we inhibit the inspiratory center, we are inhibiting the motor output through the phrenic nerve. Um, so that's gonna cause the diaphragm to relax. And when the diaphragm relaxes, it causes it to lift back up and exhalation occurs. So in that case, the effector is the diaphragm. And in this case, the effector is inhibited rather than activated. Uh, so it ends inspiration or inhalation and passive expiration can occur, which doesn't require any active uh, muscle contraction for exhalation. Uh, so at that point, the lungs recoil. So the lungs return back to their original shape. Um, the stretch receptors stop activating because they're no longer being stretched. And then normal inspiration can occur once again. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.